Good morning, good morning. We are at Starbucks. It is 10.50 a.m. at Starbucks. 10.50 a.m. on January the 29th, 2020. I just came from City Hall, from the Inspector General's office. You know, they are just like, really like baffles me. They told me to give them evidence. I gave them about this much evidence they got. I went to the Department of Justice. The Department of Justice got to follow me. All right. Y'all charged me with terrorism. Y'all kidnapped me from my family. And y'all talk about I got to prove my prove what you did. The state took a truck, a computer and seven years worth of videotapes. They took contracts, movie releases and evidence exposing the money that y'all make off of locking up black black America behind the war on drugs. <laughs> All right. We talking about the adverse effects and the, and the, the, the mental illness, dude. I told y'all about that in 2006. I gave you a program in 2006, and Governor O'Malley approved it. Now you got Zeke Cone pushing my program that I gave the city in 2006. Zeke Cone pushing the same program, and you calling the Congressman Cummings program? No, that's Shorty's program. It's the art of getting money. The money y'all make off of black bodies in Baltimore. Y'all don't want to stop the violence. Y'all don't want to stop the violence. Y'all want the violence to go so you can keep making money. And I can show you how. All right. I showed the city solicitor all of this. I showed the inspector general all of this. The inspector general didn't want to know, didn't want no part of none of this. All right, he didn't want no part of none of this. It's the Constitution. I got a freedom of speech. They told me that they violated my freedom of speech. So if the city solicitor know that they had violated my freedom of speech and freedom of, of assembly, then they should have did something about it. They took evidence exposing the money and the corruption that they make off of black bodies in Baltimore. February the 2nd, I came to City Hall. I went to the city solicitor. I went to the state prosecutor. I went to the attorney general on February the 2nd, the day my mother died. Because I wanted, there wasn't no problem with y'all. I wanted to leave Baltimore. I was trying to leave Baltimore. Instead of leaving Baltimore, you locked me up. You knew I was leaving town, so you locked me up. These are the cases. See that? I went home on vacation. I came back on probation. I went to the state of Illinois in December of 2007 to file a class action lawsuit. The class action lawsuit was about the prison industry. It was about Judge Boris, Judge Foreman, Michael Waller, Mayor Moxley, Mayor Sabanjan. It was about the money y'all make off of locking up the South Side in Black, Black Lake County. It was about that new jail you was building. You feel me? Just like Dred Scott, I went home on, just like Dred Scott, I'm a free man in one state and a slave in another during the Missouri Compromise. So just like Dred Scott, I was making a movie called I Am Dred Scott because blacks ain't got no rights in America. Only thing that we good for is cleaning your toilets, taking out your garbage, and filling your penitentiaries. That's it. That's Johnny Oleski. Johnny Oleski won't answer my mail. Chief Hyatt won't answer my mail. Y'all won't take my criminal charges. You deny me due process and equal protection. You won't let me testify in front of the grand jury. I've been to Annapolis, Will Smith, Clippinger. You the judiciary chairman. City, county, state, and federal levels. Checks and balances. 
Constitution say you're supposed to give me what belong to me. At the conclusion of a trial, I was found innocent on all charges. That means I'm supposed to be compensated freely, duly, and at the expense and convenience of my government. My truck was worth $6,000. The contents of the truck was worth $130 million. The Constitution say you're supposed to pay me. I'm talking about the prison industry. I'm talking about the prison industry. They make a lot of money off of the prison industry. You feel me? You make a lot of money off the prison industry. The prosecutors can do whatever they want. Marilyn Mosby, Greg Bernstein, Scott Schoenberger, y'all made millions and billions of dollars off of locking up black Baltimore since 2006. That's why I'm going to file a class action lawsuit to get the people back their money. You $3.5 billion in debt. You can't handle a $2.5 billion class action lawsuit. You're going to have to change receivership back to the community, to the people. I'm going to sue you for property. I'm going to sue you for whatever you got. Martin Luther King taught me about the campaign of public shame. I'm going to publicly shame you with toilets and use the 13th Amendment to do it. The campaign of public shame. That's Johnny Oleski. If Johnny Oleski asked him to investigate, then why can't Mosby do nothing? You feel me? Y'all gonna shield the corruption and shield the racism because y'all making too much money to keep black people oppressed. And oppressed people will always fight oppression. I don't need a million people to march. I need a million people to pay attention. They too oppressed to march. They too oppressed to pay attention. Starbucks is international. I don't need a million people to march. I need a million people to pay attention and they're gonna pay attention to Starbucks. One cup at a time. This is your prison industry. It says right here, whistleblower. Right here, Department of Justice. So y'all can't say that y'all didn't know. See the date. Two thousand eight. How much money y'all have made off of black body since two thousand eight? <laughs> <laughs> Baltimore is the city that reads. We the city that bleed. We took a lot of people's lives and transformed their lives into to homelessness, to poverty, the criminalization of poverty. The fact is, it's hard being black in Baltimore. Governor Hogan ain't open his mouth. Bobby Zirk ain't open his mouth. Polario and open their mouth. All of y'all retired except Governor Hogan still sitting in the seat. So y'all got the accountability and the Governor Hogan just put out a new bill in 2020. The accountability bill that for government. This is part of that. I am Dred Scott. Do blacks have rights in which white America respects? That's why I'm doing what I do. This is a documentary. This is one man's fight, but this is our struggle. I name the judges, the lawyers, and the politicians that get paid to do it. 
in Illinois is Judge Boris, Judge Rossetti, Judge Foreman, Judge Bridges, Michael Waller, Public Defender Karen Levy, and John Bailey. They work with the state to incarcerate Black Lake County. And ain't nothing they can do to deny that. They got the evidence sitting in their in their hands. They destroyed evidence. They participated in fraud. Now the city solicitor didn't want this. I showed the city solicitors they didn't want this. All right. How you doing, officer? How you doing? Before you go, I don't want you after you come out. <laughs> all right. Have a good one. That's Baltimore City Police Department, all right? Because I want no problem. I made an independent, undercover, in your investigation concerning the treatment of minorities. All right. And I do this in the light of day. Y'all got this. The Department of Justice got this. Schellenberger had this before I got locked up. If you seen, I sent it to him. The city solicitor had this. The attorney general had this. Gansler had this. Frosch got this. Y'all make too much money off of us. Somebody got to stand up against that. Get shorty. You got it yet? You get shorty. You got it yet? Yeah, you got more shorty than you can stand. Y'all thought that y'all was going to lock me up and I was going to buckle? Y'all thought I was going to bitch out? Y'all thought I was going to? No, I took you to court. I took you to jury. I had a jury trial. I won my case. I was found innocent of all charges. Now I want what belongs to me. Revenge is the dispenser code. Dog, this shit 13 years old. Don't get no colder than that. $2.6 million in lost wages. $130 million for the film and the footage. I had 13 storyboards, 13 different movies. One was Portraits of a Letter. Yeah. Like Martin Luther King did, Letters from a Birmingham Jail. Gave you 13. Gave you 13. However you want to look at it. I gave you 13. I gave you the 13th Amendment. And I showed you that Maryland is getting paid off of black bodies in 2020. You voted for this. It's my political soapbox. From Waukegan, Illinois, to Baltimore, Maryland. I'm going to clean this shit up. See the date? 2009. Long before I got locked up. So there's no excuse for treating me the way you treat me when you knew what you knew. I don't own the rights to this music. I'm in Starbucks. It's just background sound. Film background. That's the American. Frank Conway, Kurt Anderson, Telma Branch, y'all had this.
Branch had this. Q had this. Kurt Anderson had this. Kiefer Mitchell got this. Mallory Matters has this from WMAR. <laughs> Mallory Matters. She got this. Kai Jackson got this. You feel me? And if you go directly to Congressman Cummings' office today, Oh. I'm getting ready to show you the money in your board of elections, the money behind the machine. Like I said, book, movie, lawsuit. I showed that the inspector general is shielding it. Y'all can't afford a $2.5 billion class action lawsuit. You wrote a check with insufficient funds. Chief Hyatt. So when Chief Hyatt, Commissioner Chief Hyatt and them had a little uh, meetings and their community outings next week, I'm going to make sure I'm at all your community outings. I'm going to be at all your community events. And I'm going to bring this with, you, with me. I'm going to bring this with me. I'm going to bring this with me. Get ready to cook y'all up 2020. It's the art of getting money. You got yours? 2020, I'm going to get mine. Mic check. Shorty and Starbucks.